banning Milo Yiannopoulos from Twitter only limits freedom of speech and free thinking from the internet. And it makes Twitter look weak. Now, the funny thing is that uh, there's probably some people that the, um, the Cuck, uh, at the Cuck uh, Twitter headquarters believing that their company is uh, invincible. That they're not a Napster, they're not a uh, MySpace, they're not a what, Kazad, they're not a um, AOL. So many there's so many um, websites that I uh, don't visit anymore. Even Emger, I started um, not visiting them after we got so many ads on there. Um, I might as well go out for a walk, um, go out for coffee with a friend. And uh, uh, look, uh, Milo's my uh, favorite journalist. Man, that guy. Uh, He picks up uh, the uh, politically incorrect topics, dissects them with uh, with logic, and then he uh, serves them with um, a common, clear and common sense approach. And uh, man, it's, it's just fuck, man, awesome, 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 awesome dude, man. And it's a funny scene, um, it's funny a little bit, seeing that um, his uh, Twitter, his Twitter account was suspended uh, permanently. Because it does make me think, man, what the fuck are we doing here in the States? You know, um, you know, during World War II, America defeated the uh, relentless Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, accompanied by the Italians and Japanese. Being a Marine Corps veteran, um, you know those dudes. Uh, that war was not a was not a walk in the park. After that, uh, we had the Korean War. We have Vietnam War. And uh, what, what, what's happening currently? You know, the, uh, the walk in the park in Afghanistan and Iraq. And a lot of conflicts all over um, the world. Could you, could you imagine the same people that are saying, Oh my God, my lonely soul is such a meaning. You know, he's, he's hurting my feelings. Imagine these guys in the military trying to um, defend uh, democracy. Um, defend uh, free thinking. Defend uh, freedom of speech. Just imagine that. You know, it's funny that these guys are. So many clowns are protecting uh, criticism from them. From Muslims that are, uh, well, from Islam. I, mean, I shouldn't say Muslims, but from Islam, a, um, a death cult that uh, preaches killing the infidel. And it just it, it trips me out because it's, it's a lot to analyze. Um, A lot to analyze. Here I am trying to uh, run a uh, small uh, art print and, and shirt business, and 
trying to keep the uh, business local. Uh, learn how to cut costs, uh, save a penny there and there. Uh, try to hire uh, Marine Corps veterans, trying to work on that. Um, keeping and maintaining a uh, high standard of high quality control. Designing, uploading on YouTube content, um, trying to not to talk about stupid shit. Um, give you a drawing lesson with um, a bit of insight. And they get distracted by, uh, you know, stupid ass uh, Twitter action. But it's, it's necessary to cover these uh, stupid things that are happening. You know, on, on my comment section of my video, you, know, you can disagree, man, this uh, this drawing is sexist, this drawing is risque, this drawing is stupid, this drawing is, um, has a bad light touch, this drawing is um, uh, fucking uh, racist, it's racialist, it's, you don't like it, you hate it. I keep the comment section open, the thumbs up, thumb, thumbs down uh, available. Uh, you know, your your opinion matters. Maybe um, I need to. Uh, it keeps my uh, my moral compass, my creative energy um, calibrated. Maybe I'm doing. Um, Maybe I'm creating boring stuff. Maybe um, I am being an asshole. Too much of an asshole, maybe. Being an asshole is good, but being too much of an asshole is not good. <coughs> and, uh, what gets to me a lot is... Uh, Recently, my um, my Facebook uh, art page was um, banned for 30 days for um, showing a, a drawing of um, the Prophet Muhammad, uh, Jesus Christ, and Satan uh, fighting, fighting over some uh, fallen angels. You know why I felt that I had to include um, Jesus Christ in my anti-Muslim pieces? So that people wouldn't say, someone could say, you know, you're only picking on the Muslims. I'm picking on ideologies that for centuries have plagued us with violence. Um, in 2016, it's the Catholics and the Christians that are no longer, you know, not as much, um, they're not doing the crusades, right? Today it's uh, Islam and the uh, limelight. Uh, they're doing the big show. And I believe that there was a, the internet available back in, during the crusade times. During the times of the crusade. I'm pretty sure that I would uh, be trying hard work against them. Talking about um, being a peaceful man in Jesus Christ and, um, you know, seeing a big uh, axe or sword coming down on the enemy's neck or skull as yeah, a hypocrisy. But we're, I'm not um, making this video from those times. It's uh, 2016 where if you dry. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad um, that uh, qualifies you for the uh, death penalty by some Muslims. Example, real life example, Charlie Abdo. And although the drawings, some of the drawings were boring, poorly made, could have been more erotic, more exotic, crazier. Um, 
I wasn't a fan of it as far as uh, quality or creativity. Even their the new their newer one, but I like the uh, whole freedom of speech thing. The whole um, um, nothing is too sacred. Nothing should not be criticized. Kind of uh, shit. You know, I think we all know that one uh, chick who um, sucks at cooking. Sucks. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But no one tells her, no one wants to tell her that she can't cook. That this dish or that dish is just uh, horrible. And uh, she keeps on, and it could even be a dude, right? He or she keeps on creating this, um, um, you know, food that could torture and fully dedicated ISIS member in Guantanamo Bay, you know, because the shit's so horrible. And I don't mean to tell someone at times, um, hey, your fucking food sucks, but more like, hey, um, go a little easier on the salt. Um, turn it down at 10 degrees in the oven, uh, cut it in about 20 minutes off the timer, season it, marinate it, uh, cut off the fat, cut off the, um, the membrane of the, uh, the ribs. Um, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Bad ideas, bad cooking. You know, the way you could stop bad cooking is by speaking about it. And the same thing we would, same approach that you would use for a, a bad idea, which is Islam. And in the words of Sam Harris, I believe that Islam is the mother of all bad ideas. get my uh, my Facebook account back I'm going to uh, I'll sell a few more prints um try to get some personal phone numbers of some of my clients on there and then I'm gonna post up my artwork again so that was banned why because um, you know since my artwork was banned uh, my social life nor my professional life has uh, decreased or been stopped. No. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to uh, give it up. Um, remember, if you're a businessman, remember that uh, Sam Walton, the creator of Walmart, created uh, or created Walmart without the, the internet. And yes, I am saying internet because I like that word. But don't give uh, fucking Facebook or Twitter this power over you. Yeah, don't fuck that. Yeah, you could always know someone else. You don't really need to. Uh, you don't have Facebook account to keep in touch with um, the times. But then again, if you're so focused, if one focuses all that energy on uh, external bullshit and invested it on solely their own, their own goals to make things happen, I think uh, much more would be accomplished. How much time is wasted on social, social media shit anyways? Fuck it. It's a, uh, you know, these platforms are uh, a bit of a luxury, a bit of a headache, promotion, 
real type sharing. Yeah, I'm, me, I'm just ready to uh, to give it up. I'm not gonna stop creating artwork now. It's funny that I without Facebook and I got a place to go um, put up my artwork now. And uh, they're not gonna see it through, uh, through the website, they're gonna see it in person. And this thing called um, Ink and Paper, where it will have my details um, to my cell phone number. And this is an uh, ancient technology called a text message where people gotta get a hold of me. See the battery on my phone is dying out, so pardon the uh, sudden uh, sudden end of the video if it happens while I'm talking. And it sucks that my nose uh, are that dude. I mean, it's fucking awesome. And if I was a nerd with the superpowers of programming, I would have created a platform if I did have the hard drive, the uh, memory, the uh, fiber optic cable to do so. Now, there's a demand for a real, uncensored, unlimited free speech. Maybe not unlimited broadband, but unlimited uh, free speech, no doubt. You know what's a good website? Uh, DeviantArt. Um, so far none of my artwork has been banned on there. None of it. So DeviantArt, I really, really appreciate that. I've only had to ban one asshole who uh, did not like my work. Like what the fuck? Who the fuck? What you say? Who the fuck are you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Instead of saying, um, you know, you're wrong about Islam, but uh, yeah, I don't like uh, communicating with a fucking idiot, so I'll just uh, ban one person. But uh, everyone else who doesn't like it, uh, thumbs down. Say it's ugly, say you're wrong. So I want to have a conversation that's simply uh, uh, throw insults. If, uh, Islam is better than uh, Christianity, I, I, I want to know why. What's your evidence on that? What makes you believe that? One computer programmer who has the time and the resources to save us, you know. We may not be the hero that we want, but sure the hero we deserve. Is that is that what they said in Batman? Is that what was said in Batman?
and also on my uh, on my Facebook profile I have I think a called the folder called uh, the religion of peace loves me and there you can see all the uh, death threats that I get from Muslims around the world uh, so I feel special there Everyone just, uh, just live an honorable life. Uh, keep an open mind, be open to criticism. And let's see what we uh, can make happen for the future.